Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is about my 2018 favorites. I really hope it's not too late to post this. I feel like I keep pushing it off. I have to gather all my things and let you guys know my favorites of 2018 and products that I am bringing on to 2019 of course that I am constantly using. Um, there's just so much products that I had to narrow down so um, I there are a lot of stuff that I do like but these are my true true holy grail products that I cannot leave behind in 2018 so yeah I don't want to battle on too long because I feel like this video is going to be quite long um, because I am going to be talking about all the products that I like I mean I tried to really narrow it down so it didn't have to be so long, but I am going to do the best I can. If you guys are interested in seeing products from 2018 that I am bringing on to 2019, then please continue watching. To go in the order of how I do my makeup. Um, so the first one is a primer, which I do not have. I actually do not have a favorite primer um, currently, so I'm still on the hunt for a good primer. So if you guys can give me any good recommendations for face primer, then I would really, really appreciate that. I actually don't have a favorite eye primer as well. Um, I've been wanting to try the P. Louise one, so I'm definitely going to get my hands on that soon and try it out. Just going to jump into the eye palettes. And I actually just narrowed down to four brands that I really like. Um, and the first one I want to talk about is, since it's the only one, it's the Nudie Patootie from Laura Lee Los Angeles. So it's the Nudie Patootie palette. And... It is really gorgeous. I have a tutorial on this palette if you guys are interested. I really, really, really like this palette. Um, it is a lot of neutrals and nude shades. Um, but I actually really like it because it's very, very pigmented. Um, I do love these two like metallic y foil shade right here. So everything else is just really, really nice and pigmented. I really, really like this palette here. Next ones are my Anastasia palettes, of course. So I have the Sultry palette right here. I was actually not um, even interested in this palette actually, but my girlfriend got it for me, so um, I started using it and I just really, really love it. Um, not just this one, but of course I love my all my Anastasia palettes, my Soft Glam. You can see I am using it religiously in my Norvina one. So I just I just really love Anastasia's palettes. This is definitely one of my favorite brand. The next one is ColourPop. So I do have the first one, the QAF palette. This is their I think this is like one of their first palettes because they are known for their super shock shadows. Um, which I really do like those ones too, but I, I'm more of like a pressed pigment powder palette person. So um yeah, this one is really, really pigmented. I mean it's it has a lot of fallout, but I really, really like this color scheme, and I really, really like the, the price tag on these palettes. Um, this one, I believe, was like $12 or something, if not like $14. Um, but yes, I really, really like this one. Oh my god, I also really, really love this one from ColourPop, too. I don't know if you guys can see so bright. This is the All I See Is Magic. I do have a tutorial on these palettes, so you guys should definitely check them out if you guys are interested in seeing how these palettes perform on the eyes they're really really nice like I said this color scheme is really really nice it's unique very pigmented I love it I just really love ColourPop because they really have good quality products for a very, very affordable price so that's that and the last brand I want to talk about are Dose of Colors. Um, so this one I do have is the Desi Katie Frankation palette. I do love, love this palette so, so much. It's very, very high quality. So this is pretty pricey. I think this um, retail for like $50 or something. So it was kind of pricey, but it is really, really beautiful. I love these colors. Um, as you can see, I've used a lot of these colors and they're just, they're just so, so pretty. Um, Dose of Colors just really has good, good, high quality products. Um, so, uh, I just, I just love, love this brand. And then I also have these two mini palettes. These are Dose of Colors, their usual palettes. I have Blushing Berries, No Angels. Um, I do have the other ones as well, the copper ones. So, I have this one right here, Blushing Berries. And then we have the Snow Angels one. Um, but yeah, 
<laughs> really really high quality products so I, I really really recommend these brands they're really really good high quality products and yeah definitely a very very good splurge I would say moving on to foundations um, I have two foundations I have a drugstore one and a high-end one the drugstore one is my super stay foundation from Maybelline I use this religiously I actually just ran out of this one so I really can go get another one um but yes this is a drugstore price product a very full coverage very breathable and lightweight it just feels like you have no foundation on at all this is what i love about these foundations the two foundations that i'm going to talk about they, they just feel so so lightweight it is a nice matte finish foundation it may not work for everyone because i know i i recommend this for my sister and I, I don't think it worked on her skin but like for my skin i really really like it so the high-end product one is the dior skin forever foundation from dior of course i heard of this product from jacqueline hill i think she was using this so i decided to give it a try and i really really love it it smells so so good as well and i feel like the coverage is a medium coverage but it's very buildable um and it's a very good splurge um, it's very lightweight it just feels like a really high quality product next i have is a concealer and my one favorite concealer for 2018 is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer um, this one just I feel like this is one of the best concealer that's out there on the market right now I feel like it's a very very full coverage. I feel like it just makes my skin so so smooth I just love it so so much. So I don't know. I don't know what to say I just love this more than Tarte Shape Tape. Um, it does not crease um, and it's just it's just really smooth so uh, that's the only way I can explain it because I, I just feel like it just makes my skin look so so smooth it is a little bit more pricier but it is definitely bigger so it, it's like pretty it's like pretty big and this little doe foot is like pretty big as well so I'm actually just starting to run out of this um, finally and I got this like a while back so I'm about to go and purchase another one but it's definitely worth the splurge before powders i have loose powder and i have the just the press powder um so the press powder is the one that i have all over my face and i love this loose powders just for like baking um and this one is seriously the best i discovered this from kim Tai. this is my maybelline superstay better skin powder and i have it in the shade warm nude and uh, as you can see i hit pan on this I just love it so much I feel like it just really just brings my skin color back to normal after I put on my foundation and concealer and everything it just really sets my makeup on so so well for me honestly I feel like it doesn't really like help with my smile lines or my crease as much but I'm just somebody who experienced a lot of skin texture so that's really my skin's fault um, but this one still makes my skin look really really beautiful like all over and it's not too like heavy like the loose powders that's why i use this for baking and this is my hourglass translucent veal veil powder um and i actually re i really like this one for baking because i feel like it's just the right amount of powder for like baking um so it's not too bad i mean i wouldn't i probably wouldn't purchase this again because it's actually pretty pricey but i really really did like it so for bronzer i do have my favorite marc jacobs bronzer right here this is the tantastic omega bronzer um and tantastic is actually the shade name um but yes i actually really really love this one so so much right here you guys can see i've used it really really religiously and i constantly use this for like my tutorials all the time and every time i, I try to change it up in a video and the next video is like this one again so i just love it so so much it is pretty pricey but it is definitely worth the splurge um i don't even know i feel like i've gone i caught this like a while back and i'm still constantly using it i'm surprised i have not hit pan yet it's probably because i try to switch it up you know but i really really love this and i feel like everybody should pick this one up i just feel like it goes perfectly with like a lot of people's skin tone so and i know a lot of people actually really like this this powder this bronzer as well so definitely worth the splurge in my opinion um, next up we have our blushes my favorite milani blush that is what i have on my skin right now um it's just a nice rosy pinky 
blush um it has like a nice sheen like highlighted sheen it just has that nice glow um so i really really like that and it still has enough pigment to you know pop like give some pops of color onto my skin so i really really like this one new discovery for blushes are the burt's bees blush and i discovered this from kathleen lights they're very very pigmented i just love this so much i did not expect it to be um, that pigmented and that nice. Um, so the first one I got was the Toasted Cinnamon. It's more of a bronzy shade as you can see on here. Um, so when I want to go for that bronzy look, I apply this one. It's just really, really nice. This one called Bare Peach. And this is more of a peachy shade. Birds Bees, you guys are doing a great job with these. I love it so much and I, I can't wait to get some more of this. Going on to highlighters. The first palette I want to talk about is the MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlighter and it comes in three shades right here. Um, they have like a gold one, like one that's more like gold tone. This is more of a pinky tone um, and I actually like the more pinky tone highlighters. I feel like it really complements my skin more and it's more blinding I feel. Let me the gold one can be blinding as well but I just feel like this is more fitting for my skin so we have these three beautiful shades right here so so good you guys just need to get your hands on it to understand this next one is from Hourglass and it is a, limit, a limited edition product that is no longer available but I just wanted to talk about it because um, I've been using this one a lot as well and this is the metallic strobe lighting palette from Hourglass and it looks like this It's very pretty I've used it in some of my like tutorials as well um, we just have three beautiful shades here as well I'm um, another three shade product um, so we have more of a pinky tone and more of, of a yellow tone and more of like a bronzy tone and these are a little bit more subtle but you can build it up to be bl like super blinding so I really love that and I just feel like this one gives me like a glow from within like look so I really really like that about this palette. A new discovery that I just got is from Time Los Angeles and this is the Highlight Heaven palette from Time Los Angeles and it comes in four shades right here um i am using heavenly right now this white shade right here time los angeles is an indie brand but i really like her products um because it's very good like she knows what she's doing this is uh, eyebrow products uh, my trusty cabral from benefit is like uh, my favorite one um i use this as an outline for my brows so i really really like this one it is nothing like anastasia's pomade it is a pomade but i feel like it's like less harsh and it's easier to work with so i really really like this one i mean at the same time it's this is not for everyone you guys my sister did not like this one at all so um, it's just pr personal preference as well. Um, me personally, I really, really like it. I feel like it just, it just helps me, um, outline my brows, especially when my brows are like super bushy as it is right now. Like I really need to go get it done. Um, so it's really, really nice for me personally. Um, I also like this Gimme Brow Voluminizing Fiber Gel. Um, so this is like a gel that I put over my brows when I fill it in. Um, and it just puts, it just helps my brow stay in place and it makes my brows look like brows, you know, because sometimes you like draw your brows in and it looks fake. So I feel like this really gives some like oomph to my brows and make it look realistic. Two pencils that I've been really, really liking is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil. So I've been using this one. And I feel like it's really, really nice. It's very, very easy to use and it's not too slippery or hard to control. So for me personally, I don't really do like the skinny brow pencils because like it's kind of hard to control. But I really, really like this one because it just it gives me like better control of doing my brows. Speaking of not liking skinny brow pencils, this one is actually a skinnier brow pencil and this is the Dior Show Brow Styler. And I really like this one. It's super pricey, but it's really, really good. It's what I have uh, filled in for my brows. And it's just a very, it's very thin, but for some reason I'm able to control this um, for my brows. It, it just makes my brow look really nice, I feel. So 
I don't know. I mean, it's a good splurge for me, honestly. After brow, what is after brow? Okay, um, eyeliner. I have my trusty Marc Jacobs and Kat Von D. So I'm not gonna babble on so long about these because you guys already know I've talked about tattoo liner uh, from Kat Von D. is my ultimate favorite eyeliner. I try to stray away from this, but I always come back to it because it's the only eyeliner that, that I like, you know. Um, but yes, this is the one that I go to for liquid liner. But for pencil liner are my Marc Jacobs. Um, I have the Marc Jacobs highliner and I got the shade Earthquake and I got the shade Out of the Blue and I have the pink one and I have the berry one. Very, very nice, very, very pigmented, stays on your eyes forever. Um, it's, it's very nice. It's Marc Jacobs. It's pretty pricey, but it's totally worth it. Lashes. I don't really have lashes right now, but my ultimate favorites are my Iconics from House of Lashes, and it is what I am wearing right now. So these are the Iconic Lashes. Um, I love these ones, and they're affordable. They're, I think, 12 bucks or something. I feel like it's the perfect, like, volume and length it's not too dramatic or it's not too natural it's like right in the middle and i really like it is that it we are almost done um my lips lips that i want to mention are my dose of colors liquid lipsticks and my favorite is of course truffle i mentioned this multiple times before um they're just very comfortable to wear on lips and i just i love liquid lipsticks I feel like they're just better than regular lipsticks because they're more pigmented and they stay on for much longer. Um, so yeah, those are colors, very comfortable to wear, beautiful shade ranges. Um, I do have a lot of their liquid lipsticks and they're just so good. Another brand that I really, really love is Anastasia's of course. It's also very, very comfortable on the lips. They are liquid lipsticks. My ultimate favorite is from the shade Allison. It's like a nice mauve tone shade. Um, I just love it. Very, very pigmented, beautiful color ranges. I just love it. Lastly is the setting spray that I want to mention and it is Cover FX. This is the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I did spritz it on my face. I feel like this one just gives me that beautiful dewy look. I really like it. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. That is all that I have for my 2018 favorites that I am bringing on to 2019. Um, I really hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope you guys like the products that I mentioned. Definitely do. Check them out if you haven't. And if you have, if you guys have recommendations for primers, please let me know. Your girl needs a good primer right now. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching, you guys. Another year is here. I am super excited. I cannot wait to film more videos for you all. Um, I really hope you guys will come back to my channel and check out my content. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!